Now, listen to me very carefully, please. You see, when you have capital, you are able to derive... No, but I, I will attend to the check in a moment, Mr. Graham. I understand about the check. I'm trying to explain something to you that is terribly important. When we spend more per month or per year than we have in income, you must then dip into the capital, eventually exhausting the capital, and, of course, therefore, the income. Do you see what I mean? Mr. Brickett, hmm? this check must be paid. <sighs> Mr. Graham, I'm trying... And at once. I'm trying to explain to you that it is impossible to pay the check because your expenses have exceeded your income to such a point that you have exhausted your capital. Now you have no capital, no income, therefore no funds for the check, you see. Don't treat me as though I were a child, Mr. Beckett. No, I'm not. I, I am just... as aware of what it means to have no capital as you are. Oh, good. good. Now, what about this check? Well, are you entirely sure that you really do understand what I mean by capital, Mr. Graham? You see, you've exhausted the capital. I can't cover the check because the check is for $6,000 and you don't have $6,000. In other words, you don't have $60. Come to the point, Beckett. The point, Mr. Graham, is that you don't have any money. The capital and the income are exhausted, and you no longer have any money. I wish there was some other way I could say it. What could I, how could I put it? Uh, that money, you have no capital, you have no income, you have, no, it's only money. It's mo no, you have no money. There's, there's no other way to put it, you, you see. You mean I, I have I... no money? 